Hi guys, how you doing? So today I am so excited. I have here on the show Rochelle Adamson. Hi Rochelle. Hi Debbie, I'm so excited to be here with you. Oh, oh I'm so excited to have you here. So I want to talk about um, how to prevent identity theft and also have some budget questions. And so I thought to myself, like, who should I have on the show? And the only name that popped up in my brain, number one, is Rochelle. So I was like, I have to ask her oh. to Oh my gosh, no, you know, anytime I'm budgeting, I was just telling her, anytime I'm budgeting, I've got Rochelle on all day long. Um, so, Thank you so much. Oh, oh my goodness, no, absolutely. So some people who, I don't know how, but if some people don't know you, <laughs> do you want to talk a little bit about like what you do and what your channel's about? Sure. Hello, everyone. My name is Rochelle and my YouTube channel name is Rochelle Adamson Budgets. And so literally I focus on budget related content. I talk all things getting out of debt, um, building your emergency savings and winning with your own money and enjoying the journey. So if that's something you'd like to see, then check me out. Check out my channel. Um, I do have um, a lot of content that is cash related because we are making our way out of debt. Hopefully we will be debt free December 2021 and we'll be all done with our mortgage. <laughs> I'm like, please. And so if it happens, it'll be because we stuck to our budgets and we stayed motivated and focused. So I am excited to see where we go next. Thank you oh, for having me. No, I'm so excited to have you. I'll link Rochelle's channel down in the description box so everybody can go check her out. Thank so, you. The reason why I was like, I have to have Rochelle on is because a few weeks ago, I, we were talking about how to get out of bed. And um, one of the comments was talking about a credit report. And so that got us talking about identity theft. And then Rochelle was on to say that she was a victim of identity theft. And so I'm a paycheck budget. I know everybody budgets differently, but um, I'm a paycheck budgeter. And so when we got paid two weeks ago, I was like, okay, you know, getting out my my basket of bills is what I call it. <laughs> I don't know about you, Michelle. I put my bills in a basket. I am not an automated girl. I, I should be more, but I'm not as much. And so I was like, I'm gonna just balance out my, my checkbook and start paying. And then balance as I go on my my the website from my bank, and I look, I I see this transaction, and I felt like my heart stopped. I was actually supposed to be on another YouTube day during an interview, and I had like two hours beforehand. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get some you know some things out of the way, so I can right. have rest of my day free and do the interview and then relax. This transaction, so it was still pending on my checking account, but it was right on the top. And it said it was through my ATM card and it was Amazon. It was pending and it was for zero dollars. I'm like, I know how you know your budget and you know what cards you do what with. Yeah. I used to work, mm -hmm. used to work at a bank moons ago. And there's some things like I've, I like, you know, I carried with me throughout the year. And one of them was I don't use my ATM card for anything other than getting money out of the ATM. Because right. if you use, like, I'm, I'm sure some of, some people are like, why? Like, well, Dave Ramsey, I, I believe you do as well, right? Yes. 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 Love Dave Ramsey. So <laughs> one, of the things, one of the things that I kind of deviated a little bit from when it comes to him is about this topic. Just because, yeah. just because I worked at a bank. So any transaction that I do, I do on my credit card. You know, we're consumer debt free. Uh, but anything I put on a credit card, I budget for and I pay it off. The, uh, when I get the state to pay it off from my budget. So nice. I don't relate really any credit card debt or anything like that. No fees, no nothing. But Love know it. that Amazon is from a certain credit card that I use a lot because it gets really good points. So when I saw a, an Amazon transaction coming from my debt, it? it said ATM. Girl, I know I, you, I know your heart. Uh, oh. Here, I felt like I couldn't breathe. I'm like, someone somehow got my debit card. So I had to like calm down, emotional. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, money is like, Seriously. And I'm just like, how horrible is that? One thing is if it's, if it's a credit card that it happens to, which is bad enough. If someone gets your credit yeah. card and starts charging things like that is bad enough. My thing is I felt even more vulnerable because it's my checking account. Like my paycheck goes yes. in before I get paid. That's where I transfer money to my savings and now my investments and everything else. I'm like, how exactly. bad it's gonna be. And because I used to work at the bank, I know that, and I've this on my channel before, 
what happens is that, you know, they charge a zero or they'll charge like a dollar or two dollars the transaction just to see if the car pays. Yeah, just to see if, see it if, if it's active. <laughs> and then once that happens, then the next charge happens. So yeah. after I swallowed my heart, you know, like I felt like someone was sitting on my chest, I got on the phone and it's nice to like any representative, utility bills, bank, everybody, you know, you got to be nice to everybody. It's not their fault that yeah. what you're going through is what you're going through. Exactly. But I remember the lady, she, she's like, oh, I got to transfer you to the fraud department. Right there. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, she said the word fraud. She said yep. it. Like, <laughs> like something's coming yep. my way. I was like, please. So she puts me through the front and I start going like, oh, like I'm, I'm so nervous. And then at the end she was like, can I have your name? I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> like yes. And so she looked it up and she said to me, someone got a hold of my debit card and she, and I, and she looks, thank goodness. And I have a lot of things linked through the same bank. Like I have a credit card, yeah. which I use Amazon. So yeah. she looked at my history and she said, and she goes, yeah, you're completely you only use your debit card since the beginning of this account which is many many moons ago like to take out money from the atm i wow. i don't even take out money from the atm my it rusts in my wallet like i i'm like i like you know like i i don't use it i, I really don't, yeah. I don't use it. i didn't use it since november like that's that's how much you know that i have enough cash on hand plan ahead of time like that's so right to, for, Oh my God. So for someone to say to me that like got a hold of your ATM card. So immediately I'm like, okay, well, first of all, like, what do we do? So exactly. she, like, she was like, take a breath. Like, <laughs> she's like, she was like, she's like, that oh. take a breath. she's like, first we're going to cancel that debit card. They were able to look just like I said, like the next purchase is usually the one they're going to try to go for. So That's it. She, she said, I don't see anything link to it she said it she said amazon was given this and and see if the card is active and that's why it was zero so the next purchase is going to be them buying things on amazon my account so she froze so she froze um the atm card and so i've got a new one even here yet and i'm, I'm already talking about it on my channel <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, this is real life okay <laughs> so, so it hasn't even gotten here yet but um but she was like no, don't it. They noted my account. They said if anything happens, like you know, to call them right away. But um, I I checked today and yesterday it disappeared completely. Like like the lady said that it happened. But I asked wow. her. I'm like I'm like how could this have happened again? I don't I I used it in November, and she said there's three ways, right? And that's why I was like we gotta we gotta let this be. Known. So first is you have your your card in your hand. Like some people just carry one credit card if they're gonna go do something right. or, or whatever, and right. have it in a little protective wallet. Yeah. If you're walking past someone that has some kind of magnetic machine, this they can't even have it on their keychain. That's how that's yep. how bad this is now. I was I learned I learned like I took notes. So she she said if someone's walking past you, they can't physically touch the card. If they have it on their keychain, now they've got your digital information. Crazy. I was like, say Crazy. that one more time. I'm, I'm like, how, are you, like, how does there this is. exist? How does this exist? So that's one. She said, two, if you use your debit card or any credit card that happens to a credit card on any um certain websites, like like he bought something yours from Home D. Oh, I almost said the name of the company. From, from <laughs> the <laughs> I, I'm, I try to be cool. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> From, from, from a certain a certain store and their machine got hacked and so he got an alert that you know don't worry like we're protecting you however you know this where you, where you bought it from that place got hacked yeah but and my atm card so they said if you use your credit card in many places like that can happen and you know and yeah. and then the other thing was which what she said happened to me is some guy somewhere somewhere just started entering in numbers on amazon.com and somehow wow. luck got a whole like put in my number and then boom like it, it said it's a number. Wow. Imagine? like i'm i'm like i'm sitting i'm sitting in new jersey being excited that i finally pay off my emergency fund crying right. on about it right. <laughs> like, and here comes just, like let's do this and then i get that so right after everything was fine and i got and i took a breath but one i've got a i've got to talk about this on the channel 
And two, yeah. your comment, I remember your comment where you said you were a victim of identity theft. And so I reached out to Rochelle and she was like, she would love to talk about it. Here we are. Yeah. Oh, so do you, like do you want to talk about what happened? In your sure. So my so it's so funny how your experience went with identity theft. Um, I was the complete opposite type of victim because you were a victim of identity identity theft, and you had your affairs in order. So right off top, as I'm listening to your story, I'm like, wow, she was able to catch on at the yeah. first chart. <laughs> Not me. No. Not me. So. The, the identity theft situation happened at a point in my life when I was the worst off financially. No, I had no knowledge. I was not budgeting. I was an irresponsible spender. Mm -hmm. I didn't check my bank accounts often at all. So by the time I actually realized something was wrong, months had gone by, at least one or two months because the transactions were so small and they were from places that I already shopped at. Like how you said you saw an Amazon charge. I mm -hmm. didn't allocate certain cards to certain you know, types of spending. So I didn't think anything of it when I saw it. I just saw, oh, $3 here, $2 there, $1.50 you know, on something random. And, I, and finally, I just started adding things up. And I realized that the charges were happening while I was at work. And it's like, okay, I was busy working. There's no way possible. And I, and at that time, Michael was working as an electrician on a construction site. So he's definitely not shopping. And this is back in 2016, maybe. So, you know, the internet was a lot different then. So anyway, when I finally realized what had happened, I didn't know what to do. I went online and I said, okay, what do you do? I know you notify your bank so they can lock your card, but what else you know, do I do? And so I contacted my all my banks, credit union, everybody, because it was happening across multiple accounts. That's the wild part. It did didn't say, just hit. Did they say how, how it could happen? Like if it was. Nope. They were so, when I tell you I had the worst experience because even the customer service department was mean. Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, of course, if you noticed this, how come you didn't say anything sooner? And they like doubted me. And that was like, it made me feel even worse because I'm like, I'm already going through this tough situation mm -hmm. and I don't know what direction to go. And then you don't believe me? Like what? And so I, I just had lesson after lesson in that scenario. And I promised myself that if I ever got out of that situation, that I would have a plan to help somebody else if they ever experienced it. Now there's different departments. You know, there's, you know, there's the fraud department and, and mm -hmm. things like that now. But the banks that I was working with back then, I won't say the names, dot, dot, dot. They weren't mm -hmm. the, it just didn't, they didn't have my best interest at heart. And so by the time we really, really, truly realized um, that we had proof, like here's the proof. I was not here. I did not have access to my bank card. I was at work was when they finally started to take us serious and say, OK, we noticed um, a set of transactions that are unusual. And, they, yeah. and by that time, it was like, OK, another few weeks had gone by. And now we got to talk about how can I get my money back and all that type mm -hmm. of stuff. So. Um, mm -hmm. For me, it was lesson learned because first off, I should have had a budget. If I had a budget, I would know my spending. I would be tracking it. I would know my transactions. I didn't. I wasn't meal planning. I wasn't budgeting for food. So when I saw a transaction for McDonald's, that person had used my card at McDonald's. But guess what? I don't eat at McDonald's. So it was just like all that type of thing. So I learned that I. The worst part was we had to survive on whatever money we had in our bank accounts because we couldn't use our bank cards or credit cards until they figured everything out and we hardly had any savings and so i was like borrowing money from my parents you know micah picked up and worked overtime and i did what i could but it was just like man if i had a budget and had you know good money habits a lot of this could have been avoided and so that's the that's what i share when i'm talking to people on my channel is setting yourself up for success even in a bad situation it will turn a bad situation into something, a temporary rainy day um, because that situation just spiraled and dominoed into something way worse, all because I didn't prepare for the worst. Yeah. And so yeah. I just had to make those changes, you know, and, and mm -hmm. what grew from that scenario was my channel, my YouTube channel. I was like, I got to start being accountable for my transactions and my budgeting and my spending mm -hmm. um, because I'm not. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was so funny because Micah is like one of the most frugal people I know, but he's so patient with me. He let me fail. I mean, I fell hard on my face and finally was like, okay, I'm ready to get serious. And I read my first Dave Ramsey book and I started looking at all types of videos and finding content that you know I could learn from. And mm -hmm. so here I am like five years later, exactly. And I'm a different mm -hmm. person. So mm -hmm. it, it definitely helps to just learn from whatever you're going through. Yeah, but, you have to, you have to learn what you're going through. Absolutely. Yeah. With, and you're yeah. so right. I think we all, but we budget, I think we, we all spend more than we were like that. Like, I mean, my story was before I met my husband, I had consumer debt because I was in a relationship with someone who wanted the finer things in life. And I'm like, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now looking back, I'm like, you know, I'm, you're different in your 20s than than you are like in, in on your 30s and moving on. And yep. like my husband, I'm the frugal one. That, that's the funny thing about our relationship. And wow. I, 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 I now, but he was the budgeter, so he had his Excel spreadsheet. And he, you know, this is years ago. And I'm like, no, I'm a saver. Like I'm not a spender. Like I'm a minimalist. Like you know, with before it be thing trendy. You know? <laughs> like, that's like I'm good, like I'm comfortable. You are so, fine. You know, as long as my family has what, what it needs, I'm good. Like I don't, I don't overspend or anything like that. But he was chasing me with that. She's like, no, 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 we got it. We got to sit down. We got it. We got it. <laughs> and then when I, did, that's when I was like, my eyes just opened up to this new world. You know, I found Dave Ramsey. Even he was a budgeter. Like I was like, I want to learn. You know, yep. so I started watching Dave Ramsey. I read the Total Money Makeover, that which really changed everything for me. You know, yes. And then yes. I started paying off debt. This front time one day, and I was like, I think I want to do a YouTube channel. Like I want to inspire more people, because. And then I talked to I talked to many of my friends. You know, people you you stay in touch with from high school, like on you know, in social media, and yeah. you bring up money. Like they like some of them are still financially where I was. You know. I work with people that make three times the income that I make. This one, this woman, and she's so sweet. This one woman, whenever she talks finance, like I, I gotta walk away because that little how Debbie saves, like you know how you know that cartoon where like the devil, she's the one with the horns, and I'm over here like like welcome to my channel. Like no, you know how to I'm like I can't. I just walk away. I walk away because I don't want to preach. I don't want to like you know one that yeah. like she comes. And about frugality and saving money. She's got to want it. She's got to want it. No, no. One day she told me that she thought avocados were eight dollars a piece. I walked away. <laughs> it's like I walked away. I hope not. Maybe she lives here. Does she live here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, no. But I'm just like, I was. And she's so nice. But I, I, I walked away. I was like, I'm not talking to yeah. avocados because I don't yeah. think much. What supermarket? What? The <laughs> yeah, you could <laughs> tell her where to go. I was like doing this, but no, but like you're saying, like before, before, if this would have happened before I would have been budgeting, I would have been like you, like, like I would have had no idea, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm so scared. And that's when I was like, we, we really got to like, talk about this, you know, be yeah. known, you know, so yeah. I wanted to ask you, since you are like the budgeting queen and I learned from <laughs> you even until this moment, <laughs> let's, let, let's shift, let's shift. Well, first of all, before we do that. Like, do you have um, credit protection now? Yes, I have all of that stuff like in play now. Now yeah. I'm like, so, um, to hopefully prevent it from happening again, or at least decrease the risk. I That was one of the reasons I chose certain credit cards because certain credit card companies have things already set up to protect you. And they'll say, oh, if you notice a charge, this charge looks weird. Like I have my, my alerts turned on for Capital One. They are really good about alerting you. They're like, um, we noticed a weird transaction. Is this you? And I'm like, mm -hmm. yes or no. And then right away you get a text or an email from them. I love that type mm -hmm. of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm always telling people less is more. So mm -hmm. don't give yourself so much work. Use one card. And so like you said, I've, I've 
I have it down to a system now where I use one card for when we're shopping, one card for when we're shopping online and another yep. card for everything else. Like that way mm -hmm. I know if mm -hmm. something's out of order and I'm, I'm looking at that every day. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, I have, ball game. I, have a, I have a department <laughs> store card I haven't used in two years. I actually got it when we first moved here because they had, uh, it was, um, we're having specials on, on like bedding and mattress and mattresses and things like that. And I got such a great discount, paid it off at the end of the month. Like it was perfect. Yeah. I'm like I, I killed it with that savings. I was so happy about it. Um, it's like a little badge of honor, like, hello. <laughs> okay. I think I've used that card like three times. I haven't used it. I tell you one of the things, um, when you talk about emotional and, and emotions being tied with money, I shared this last week and I got so many comments on it, but like to me, like even, even when I budget, like even, even now that I, like, I know where every cycle, like I, I'm, I love it. I enjoy it. Like I said, I tune on, I tune into your channel and I just go. My thing is, um, I had a really bad, I can tell you what day it was. That's how bad it was. A really bad day at work to the point where I thought, you know what? I've had it. Like I can't be in this job. And I knew I love my job. It was just, yeah circumstances of something that happened and I yeah. left and I was like I was furious and I was like you know what I'm, I can go home and I can just have it raging or I can take some time for myself I went to the mall and I, I went to this particular store and I bought myself the nicest thing and it, and it was on clearance and I had a coupon I just happened to have a coupon on me I was like I was like as if it, like the gods were singing to me like buy this buy this bag <laughs> they'll get you a nice gift <laughs> in a little bag right there once in a while I just kiss it you know <laughs> anyway, so I haven't I haven't that card since that moment like I really didn't I got a call of asking me and charged if from from the from this apartment store and I was like even they take care of you like and they get yeah. to know you they get to know your transactions so when something's yeah. weird you know it pops up but they said to me like did you did you charge something in California I've never stepped foot in California never stepped foot in California. Always wanted to, but I haven't yet. It's on my list. Uh huh. No, but don't worry about it. We took care of the thing. The fraud department called me and they were like, we took mm -hmm. care of the whole thing already. Your new card's on the way. But when it comes to like, like credit cards, not that's the only department store card I have. But when, yeah. no, I have one more. But when it comes to um, regular credit cards, I have the same feature. They offer it to yeah. me for free. I, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that like you pay your bills on time and you don't have this, but they said because I'm in commanding, they give it to yep. me for free. And I've gotten yep. alerts on that too. You know, yep. but I mean if 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 someone doesn't have a credit card that's offered to that, like I heard I can also get some kind of insurance to, to make sure yep. that this doesn't happen again. Yeah, there's all types of insurance I, I hear about. Um I know there's a fraud insurance, there's companies like I don't know if you want to say company names on here, but mm -hmm. uh, it starts with an L and they do a lot of commercials where they, um, it's, it's life lock. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I but they, I've, always, I've always heard like, you didn't say things like that. So I hear like, things I about them. I want to tell you something bad. Like, yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> but I always hear good things people. about them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm like, I'm glad that there's more and more companies like that surfacing because you can spend your money on a lot of things. Why not spend it on protection? That's just my type of thing. Um, especially if you have someone who is a credit card user and they want to, but they don't really lay eyes on their, you know, spending habits and their transactions mm -hmm. and their statements. Maybe that's something that, you know, would be useful for that person. So mm -hmm. just having these type of, you know, companies coming on board that are willing to help us yeah. fight you know, all the, the people who are unfortunately just trying to look for an easy way to make money off of somebody. Mm -hmm. I think it, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I haven't ha I haven't invested in those type of companies yet because I feel like the credit card companies have been sufficient. But mm -hmm. 2021 now, we, I'm starting to yeah. see all types. Of stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. So since I'm getting into budgets, like I, I went on um, on Instagram and on YouTube and I was like, I'm having Rochelle on. So people listen and take advantage. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, ask them for questions. I wanted to ask you, like, what's like the typical budget question you seem to get a lot? Because I know you 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 help people with their budgets. I know I know you you provide services on your website, right? Where someone yeah. has their services. I thought your website, I loved it. So Thank I know you do. Um, consultations on, on on the phone or zoom i'm assuming right that's right and that's and, right uh, and, and the time 
fee someone can where someone can get a budget like have you do the budget one time and then yes. you have another one where the, you can maintain their budget and help them out whenever they need it which i thought was awesome i thought that was awesome. yes yeah. so since you deal with different people's budgets i do as well at work at work at work what i see a lot of um is like the, there's 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 two there's two roads i see a lot of one is um i'm, I'm a um, family law paralegal so one thing i see a lot of is excessive like way above your means yes. i had i had this client on me and i was just like man, like that little angel like on one shoulder saying like say something to me he's like he's like i'm gonna pay my whole invoice i'm just waiting for bonus so I, and that that's something you should tell your attorney when when they're helping you through a divorce is if you're gonna get like a bump up in pay because that can affect everything and yeah. so I was, I was like, oh, I was like, I don't have here in your file that you're getting on this. He's like, no, 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 I, I'm, it's, he's like, it is a bonus. He's like, I, I'm taking it out of my 401k. I'm like, oh, crickets. Like it was, <laughs> it was crickets. I'm like, a bonus. It's not cash. Like you're taking, you're robbing yourself. But I'm like, okay. So I see a lot of that. I see a lot of people living in, in, in really fancy houses, driving really expensive cars, like, a lifestyle that that if you look at what they bring in it should be cut in half in order to survive people live way above their means when you see a fancy car and you think like, like i want to be like them i've seen people come in with twenty thousand dollars and that's what they make a year and again i'm not saying that's little or that's a lot and, yep. and budget on track they have they know where every cent goes they're smart about the money they have savings they're afraid their house is going to find out how much they got put away and <laughs> <laughs> you go you go this is, like, this is so accurate nothing against the men but but women rely on that when it comes to money and and so when i see like independent women like you like putting the word out there and 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 other women like empowering other women to know more like i mean again i'm not saying I, 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 no, we I love, love the guys. We, love the guys, but <laughs> well, we gotta do our own thing guys. too. <laughs> I see a lot of that, but when I see someone come in with twenty thousand dollars that, that they make and they and they've got things like on lockdown, and then you yep. see a guy or a woman come in making two hundred thousand dollars a year, like in, in four or five hundred thousand dollars of debt, and I'm just like, like wow, like that's one thing I see a lot in my job, on my yeah. job. I see what I see about is people thinking that by it's it's like a common thread in a lot of the questions that I get, especially on Instagram, a lot of questions there. But what what I the, the common thread is I think that if by by having a budget, you're you're feeling constricted. Why have a budget? And and I have them, I'm like, I'm like, I feel like it's the Dave Ramsey in me that pops up. I'm like, no, like having having a budget isn't constrictive constricted in the life you're living where you're accumulating debt and the way that i felt was like like i was in quicksand you know what i mean like yeah. there's no other way to say the more debt i have like the more and then and so i brought that into this relationship and and my husband and my husband and i we did but i had to get a car during hurricane sandy because i was eight months old and my car was skidding ice and we had a growing family, so I had to get an SUV. And because of Hurricane Sandy, we were getting rid of their cars like that had water damage. Ooh. And they were it. So our first car here in New Jersey, like uh, the, the stories I could tell you about like people being ripped off by getting a, a great deal in a used car. And then a month later it comes apart and you had water damage in, in certain parts. So wow, I had to get a wow. So I had to get a new car. I couldn't even get a certified used car. So there was a car loan on top of the debt that I that I a nice little pretty bow my married into. <laughs> 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 I love you. I love you. <laughs> and, then, like, hey, and then his car ended up getting two years after that. And then, like Russ is like the is is like cancer for a Jeep. You know, like it's not gonna it's not gonna like last much longer. Fortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. Like that's what they call it. I thought that was really sad. Yeah. So he had to get, he was, we were smart with his because by then Hurricane Sandy was come and gone. So we got a certified use for him, but again, more debt put on top. So yeah. the common, the common thread has to do with, with, with people feeling constricted with, yeah. with, yeah. with having, with having a budget. But I'm like, I felt constricted when I was in so much debt. Yes. 
you know so to me it's once exactly. once you assign money where to go like where it goes and where i thought where i thought i don't know about you but what i thought was really fun was when i first started again my husband pretty much like can you look at the sheet please no like okay and i saw how much we were spending on food on on um utilities and i looked at those numbers and i thought to myself like this could be fun. Like this could be fun. Like let me see how much I can drop. Even I yes. category by category, we started dropping things. I I have a video, um, that's that I get so many comments on still now. Um, with four phone calls, I saved my family twelve hundred dollars on utilities in a matter of yep. hours. In a matter of two hours, I'm like, and I got things for free. I got the NFL package for free. You <laughs> thought the boy won the lottery? Like he was. <laughs> the house like like, like Dorothy that's my award. <laughs> you got it <laughs> it's like my mom's approval i love it oh yeah oh you're such a son wait that's mom award then oh i'm telling you <laughs> he called his best friend and he's like, my mom got the nfl package for free i mean it was just something they threw in you, you know oh, everyone really? that's like budget and everything else but so so to me like that's the common thing that i get you know and it's like and it's like no like the opposite like i, I wish i could just have everyone understand like one goal the budget and lower your yeah. expenses that's so freeing because now you've got this cash that's available to you most of the time and and that you can put towards your debt towards you know towards they say the average family can't afford i mean i, I think it was like i want i don't want to i, I should have written it down i want to say two percent of of families can't afford a four hundred dollar emergency emergency yeah with putting it yep. on a credit card Yep. So, so yep. since you deal with budgets all day, I couldn't wait to ask the question. Like, what's the, what is like the typical like common that when it comes to the budgets? The number one uh, problem that I see is that people don't have enough money to survive until the next payday, and they spend their money. Maybe they're paid biweekly or even monthly. And so they find themselves relying on credit cards to make it through. And so a lot of what I do is just have the conversation, like, what can we cut out? What can we do better in? Because you should not be paid on the first and feel like you are living in poverty until you get paid again on the 28th. Like that's something we have to find a way where we can make your money stretch and where you can see your money. And a big way to see your money is to budget it and to, and to pre-plan how you're going to spend it. A lot of people wait until payday to start budgeting. That should really be at least rough drafted out at least a week or two in advance. I do my budget for the year. My, it drives Micah insane. I don't even tell him anymore. <laughs> but I'm like, I know how I'm going to spend next year's money. Okay, I don't. I just what, like I hear. Yeah, I like I like running the numbers. The apps are out there. The free apps are out there to just know what could be. And I think mm -hmm. it helps to know what you could accomplish this time next year if you stick to what you're doing now. So it's mo that's what keeps me motivated. But um, a, a, a concern that they ask me about or share with me is mm -hmm. that they feel torn. They don't know whether they should save first or pay debt first or um, work on investing or work on getting their first home first. And, uh, and so of course it's on a, you know, person by person basis. But what I'd like to tell people is you can do it all. Like the, the, once you create a budget, you have the freedom to switch it up and make it what you want it to be. I switch my budget out at least three times a month and I'm like, Oh, scrap that. I thought that's what I wanted to do. Or sometimes I'll accomplish a goal quicker than anticipate it. And I'll have to create a new goal because you always want to give a job to every dollar. And so I have clients who they can handle multitasking. They're like, okay, I can save and I can pay an extra $5 or $10 toward debt every check, or, and I can do this. But then I have other clients who are like, listen, this is overwhelming. This is the first time I've logged in my bank account this often. This is stressing me out. And so I'm like, we'll go slow. We'll go slow. We will focus on yeah. the Dave Ramsey baby steps. And we're going to read a book or watch a video. And we're going to um, create a budget for the first time. And then we'll talk about making a snowball payment. Let's just get our bills current first. So it just kind of depends. Yeah. But what I notice overall is that people feel overwhelmed. They don't know which direction to go because the information is out there, right? Like we're all talking about what works for each one of us individually. But making it work for yourself in your own household 
that doesn't come easy to a lot of people. And so they feel like they feel because, you know, they have to break habits. They're going to have to stop hanging with their friends and going out every weekend to eat. They're going to have to start mm -hmm. cooking at home. Talking to myself here, <laughs> that is still the category I struggle in, guys. I have, and I share my imperfections with my clients. Like, don't feel like you're come coming to a person who doesn't mess up. But yeah. what I do is I budget in the mess ups. So it's like, okay, what has to go now? Since you wanted to eat out and you wanted to do this and you wanted to go beyond the budget, how are you going to rein it back in? So those are the type of conversations I have with people. It's just letting them know that your life needs to match your budget. You yeah. can't create a budget in your head that sounds good and then not live it. Mm -hmm. So if you you if you're a spender, then your budget needs to reflect the spender and their habits, but it needs to be budgeted. And once the money's gone, that's it. You got to stick to that. You got to learn that word. No, it's a good word. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny because because uh, uh, the channel um I talk about the power of no and I was like that board is very powerful. I I came from like I don't, I don't know about you but my my parents didn't have credit cards like I'm the first one to have no. a credit card yet I'm the first See? to get debt in my family. See uh, another topic. <laughs> yeah, another topic. Another day. <laughs> like, Breaking no, these generational uh, things. Yeah. Where you came from, like I. Uh, I never, I, I never asked my mom. I mean, I'm sure I did. I don't remember, but you yeah. know, like I didn't ask my mom for a lot because I knew the answer was going to be no. Yep. You know, Same. I, I remember I went in the car with my dad and like McDonald's, like fly by, I'm like oh, 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 you had, you know, and and it just seems like 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 that's that's the direction that people go in with their kids. But yeah. dude, if it's not your birthday and it's not your and it's not Christmas and you didn't save up the money yourself, like I'm not like that's not happening. How will they learn if you don't if you don't show them or and tell them how the world really is? You cannot keep it from them for their first 18 years of their life and then send them to college where they'll get these crazy credit cards. And they won't learn anything about finances. And then they get a job and they sit at their first day at work with a ton of debt. How? What? They're not setting them up for success. That's not fair. I I, I don't know. Like, I, I remember, like, my mom told me, like, you know, a woman, and I know this because, you know, she had two daughters. She didn't have a son. She was like, women should always have a bit of side money, like, in an account. Like, you know, like, and so like, I remember I had my passbook savings. My mom taught me that. You know, she taught me how to save yes. that. Like, but she never knew what a credit card was like she never so i never knew anything about it and my first experience was going to the mall in high school like at the beginning of college with my friends and she's like oh like she's charging things up and i'm like what are you doing and she's like, awesome she's like i get a three dollar bill i pay 25 bucks i was like what <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> so just like, just like you know, like the, no, like you, you, you don't have it in your budget, you don't get it. You, you my kids, I have to teach them now. I've got two, I've got two teenagers. My daughter's going to college in less than two years. It's like no, like you need to, you know, and they, they know, and they still try. Yeah, <laughs> you can still live because you said live. no to some things. You can afford to do other things. Mm -hmm. It's just exactly. a matter of picking what your no's are going to be and what your yeses are going to be, and. Because this is another area that I still work, you know, I'm still working on myself is because mm -hmm. I do, I'm a natural spender. Mm -hmm. And so I have to learn to say, do I really need that item just because I have the money for it doesn't mean I should buy it. Mm -hmm. And so my friend, um, she's really, she's like my unofficial financial advisor. She's like that free living her best life 10 years younger than me. And she's so like mature. Mm -hmm. And so she tells me like, not only do you need to get used to saying no, but she always says, and to say no without saying, I'm sorry. Yeah. Because you should never feel sorry for saying no. It No is not a bad thing. It's yeah. no, not this time. No, thank you. Um, so when people are starting up businesses and, you know, they're selling things, you can support if it's within your budget, if you want to, you know, support a friend or family member. But if they're coming to you week after week, month after month, you're going to have to figure out how to say no eventually because it's not your job to support their business and keep it afloat. <laughs> you know, so we just have to find ways to say no with and if, and do it in a way where they understand why you're saying no. Um, because you can say no and you can 
remind them of why you're saying no in the sense of like, you know, maybe you've supported that business and maybe they forgot you support it. And you have to say, oh, remember, I just bought an item from you a couple of weeks ago. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. And I want to use it to the full. And I don't want to, you know, anything to get in the way of me using it to the full. So I'm going to say no for, and tap out for this go around. Thanks for thinking of me. Yeah. So it, just finding new ways to just flip it into a positive word mm -hmm. is can can save you in the long run. And that's what I had to learn mm -hmm. in the last years is it's okay to say no. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, it really, it really, really, and when you work in a place where people don't like people, I mean, my, my guess by looking, by looking at like the things that I see at work, you know, before everybody was virtual, like a lot of them are eating, you know, ordering food all the time, like yep. eating at someone's birthday, or maybe once a month I'll order of myself a lunch too. $13 yeah. a pop. You know, someone's birthday, thirty dollars a pop plus cake plus gift. That's not you know, that. You know, this little part of me that's like, would I really get you a gift? Like, are you really my friend, or are you just someone that's it's like on the other side of the office? I'm like, no. <laughs> do I even know your last name? <laughs> that's like, that's like no peer pressure. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I'm telling you, being virtual has saved me money. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many virtual weddings and all types of stuff I go to now. And I'm like, it's okay. My presence is the gift sometimes. No, I'm going to give, but it's mm -hmm. you just have to be specific and plan for it. You know that wedding is coming up. Okay, put $5 a week to the side so you can afford to get them a nice little gift. Yeah. But just, dust, we're not doing surprises anymore. We're not doing the unexpected thing anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I forgot and I got to go spend $100. And I, mm -hmm. we're not doing that anymore. Or we, we can we can take our time and guess what guess what if it's a wedding all they do is get married and you can give them the gift anytime i have given a gift to somebody for their five-year wedding anniversary like i'm sorry i didn't have it when you guys got married i literally didn't mm -hmm. but i want to give you guys something nice now and they That's appreciated nice. that more than anything like their eyes look, i will never forget that and mm -hmm. i knew that it was okay i was like they're really okay with this <laughs> so that's so sweet. That's so sweet. No, that is. It, it's, and it's so true. And it's true. Yeah. So I, so speaking of budgets, so I got some yeah. questions. I have, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you feel the same way about your subscribers. Like you reach out and you say something and the, you know, they, they're like, I'm here. Like I got a question. Yes. I got a question. I got a question. I was like, all right. Yeah. So let's do it. <laughs> I'm like, let's do this. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to go only by, by first names because, you know, some things are personal and I don't um, offend anyone. So, okay. so um, Amy wrote, sorry that I'm looking down. I'm looking at my notes here. I am too. I'm reading so it because I, I, okay. when you, so I have it open I, to yeah, remind exactly. you. Yeah. Okay. So, so Amy, Amy was so sweet. She said that she's learned a lot about budgeting from my channel. Um, and I can say, thank you so much. That was sweet to her to say. So here's a question. I thought this was awesome. So she says, um, how do you handle allowance for kids? Um, I want to establish good money habits, but I also I want them to know the value of working hard for money. I was like, preach, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I could talk about kids and money all day long. All day. Because, you know, the, the, I don't, I don't, you know, like I, I, I was raised always like, you don't talk about money, politics, or religion. And here I am with the Safe Channel. <laughs> I'm talking to Rochelle Adamson. Like, we're know, breaking we're, all of that down money. because. We it literally, they're the future. We have mm -hmm. to set them up for success. It's yeah. like I, I was um, talking to Marvelous on my live yesterday, and she sent she, she was said fabulous. She is so oh, good. Oh my goodness! I, went, I subbed right away. I thought she was. Awesome. Oh my gosh, she was so good. So I can't remember if she said it live or in a conversation we had previous. Mm -hmm. um, but she basically said it's not her children's fault that she's in debt. Yeah. And so she wants to set her children up for success, even if she, even if it doesn't mean financially. So they'll have the habits, they'll have the knowledge to be successful with their money, even if she's not able to give them the actual money. And I thought that was such a lesson in itself. So um, what I did was I just went out and did research on what is out there for kids. And there's not much, but the thing that one thing that I did find that's um, been amazing is the green light app. And I did a video on the green light app and um, I actually need to do a follow up one just to tell people, you know, how it's going about six months in. But I really love the Greenlight app. It is an at cost app to use. It costs four dollars and ninety nine cents per month. 
but it is the best $5 a month I have ever spent. And it's Eva's bill. She pays for it out of her money, out of her allowance. But the reason I like it is because it teaches her how to spend her money. So it um, has different buckets, which is just like the Dave Ramsey way kind of yeah. thinking. And yeah. so there's, you, see, you know this app, right? They have giving, um, well, spending. You said Dave Ramsey, so I know the bucket. Uh, buckets. Uh, oh, right. Oh, yes. Yeah. So they have an earning way, yeah. and a way mm -hmm. to earn money. So that means that there's her chores are loaded in. And so she can say, okay, this chore has been completed um, and get paid for it that way. She can mm -hmm. save, she can spend, she can earn, she can give. There's a way to donate to different um charities and, co and companies such as like humane societies and things like that, yeah. which is awesome. And I you can love do directly and do that directly on the app. Yep. And you can choose because they have a list. They really have um, a way where the parents it's interactive. So the parents can see exactly what goes on and they can approve it before she tries to do it. Nice. Um, and it comes with a debit card with a MasterCard logo. That's so she can go and Walmart. Yeah, that's the part of I had heard about. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. She can even go to an ATM, I hear, but we haven't we haven't done that. But we are. Um, she has two buckets. She uses that, and she uses Apple Cash because Apple just released um, a system where kids under sixteen can access the money now on that electronically. So that's um, another way she uses. It. But I really, really, really. Um, highly suggest um, looking into Greenlight. They even I think have a trial. I'll send you the link because I think there's a way you can try it for seven days first. So if you want to post it, somebody could try it because you have to know someone to have the link. But you can try it out for seven days, see if it's something you like. And I tell you, I she doesn't beg for things anymore. Literally, I put that as my thumbnail in the video. Like my kid doesn't beg for money anymore. <laughs> she stop asking when we go out and I say, hey, do you want to stop at 7-Eleven and grab a drink on our way back home? And she's like, no, no. I bought my water bottle and I'm good. I'll, I'll eat when I get home. I'm like, Oh my gosh! I tell you, like, like if I'm, if I'm you, you man, you, you touch on like, I'm like, I'm telling you. Oh my god! A total day. So, so, so my 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 daughter, she's sixteen. My son is fifteen, and my little one is five. I'm six. So oh. five. Where am I going? Um, yeah. So, so I've got two teens that love to spend money, and then one that's just learning. So, to to me, I got like two two different avenues to do. My thing with what you just touched on my thing is they know that they're not getting any we're at the store like you know when when the malls were open here everything's pretty much closed now but yeah. when the mall open like they know like I, if i go there to buy one thing i'm going for that one thing like i'm not yeah. anywhere i'm not getting something is I'm, I'm always like bring your water bottles like you know bring your water bottles pack a snack i pack a snack for my little one you know if you want to because i'm not stopping like i i'm sorry but i'm not stopping <laughs> not we have at home you weren't hungry when we left we've been gone for an hour and a half you're not starving we're good you know I'm like, oh, like i'm not spending money on that i'm not but but that's the thing. like they don't ask for things anymore but now it's like my especially my, my teenager she's like come on i really want like a pumpkin fry whatever and i'm like mm, yeah you know, i've got a I, I make my own at home and it's fabulous. Yeah, you know, I've even taken pictures of it and put it on Instagram. Like, look at me, free coffee. But, but no, when it comes to that, that's amazing. When it comes to um, allowances for mine, I want them to know the difference between what you have to because you're a part of our family, so you help yeah. out, and then yeah. the extra for an allowance. Like yeah. my teenagers, like, you know, people ask me all the time, like, wow, like you got things organized and this, that. I'm like, don't know. I'm trying. It's a tr I'm, I'm exactly. like, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Exactly. I'm honest. Don't be fooled. Like I've got my planner here on the ground next to me. I take notes all day long of things I gotta do. Check them off. Check yep. them off. But my teenagers, they alternate the dishwasher. That's not part of their allowance. Part of the family, they eat plates, so they're gonna alternate the dishwasher. You know, one does four items do. By the time I go downstairs to make dinner to work, like I got it, I got a clean enough kitchen where I can get started. You know. Yep. But like you know, like like my like right now they're outside shoveling. We got um at last the last check was fourteen inches of snow. They're oh out goodness. there shoveling. You know they don't. They, we could have paid someone else, but no, my husband and the kids are out there right now. My little six year old, she's got her little shovel. She's out there now too. Oh. They're it's it's awesome. So so they're getting money for that. You know that's extra that they're getting. You know? 
part of their normal allowance. But I, I do it. want them to know, like, you, like when you go to college, like, you, I'm not there picking up your socks. Like, you're picking up your own clothes. Like, I have my little six-year-old putting away her, her hamper. She can't pick up the stairs. So I carry it up, I put it on her bed, and she puts her stuff away. Like, there are some things I need them to know because when they go when they go out into the world, like, I, I, they need to know, you know, like, common things how to do laundry like how to do the dishes like how to make a meal like my that I, have, I have them in the kitchen with me when i can whenever they're not tied up with their friends or whatever on or my son's glued to his it's like when, when that's not happening yeah. they're open out that's right but i failed them when it came to an allowance because i give them a certain amount each week but because you know working for parents and you know maintaining a household and everything it was like they'd come up to me like a debt collector, like knock the door, like hey, mom, like it's been two weeks, like where's my money? Like, oh, that, that. So I automated it. I automated. It. I I set them up with accounts on the same bank that I have. Yes. Really automated, and when they do extra, I just have to go onto the app. And, you know, like when it's one cash, you know, we have to actually give them, but like anything extra, like anything that's just their allowance amount, if they do enough yeah. for the week to help out, but it wasn't something extra like 14 inches outside, yep. then 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 it's automated. My little one, I have, I have a, little, uh, a little project to show you. So uh, I, just like you, Rochelle has a video and she just and she released it like what, a few days ago uh, about paying off her mortgage. And so she's got, you got to see the sheet. I was just, I, I thought I got yeah, emotional for her. I got emotional for you. I really, <sighs> and I was just like, control yourself. Just watch the video. Don't cry. <sighs> she has the words debt free on this, on this chart. And for every line, she assigned it a certain part of her mortgage. And she starts coming. And as she's putting in the numbers, I realized, I realized it before you did, I think. When I, I didn't even there, realize it. I was like, she's gonna color the word free in. I know it. She's gonna get to the top line. So I was like, come on. And all of a sudden she got to the top. She's like, the word free is colored in. I'm like, she's halfway there to pay off your mortgage. I, I'm just like, I can't. I can't. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I feel it's like just, I'm enjoying the cry. journey. <laughs> I'm enjoying the journey, but it's just like when it happens and you realize it, it's just like I still have that moment of shock. I still just can't even believe it. A few weeks ago, You're I did a live. This are forever. You know, I know I have family members who were twice my age still paying their mortgage off. Yeah. So it's just like mm -hmm. I think we all, generational, you and, know. Yeah. And I think of, we all know someone. Uh, I think we all know someone who like takes loans and loans and loans against their home. Also, it's like you know you live in a in a hole that you never get out of. So I did I, that. <laughs> when I well, I, <laughs> when I did it once. And I free, Never I the word free, I got emotional. I was like, I'm like, yes. I feel like, I feel like I know you through YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, how beautiful is that? You're halfway through. Like, that's amazing. So I wanted to show you this little piece of art. So it's six, right? Okay. She came up to me a few weeks ago and I was like, oh, learning moment, like, ding, ding. like pay attention. Like for me. So she comes up to me. She's like, mom, she never asked for anything. She's the one that doesn't want anything. You know, she might want a donut if we're out, but she doesn't ask for anything unless it's Christmas or birthday. She's programmed. So uh -huh. <laughs> the other two. <laughs> so she comes up, she's like, mom, 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 like, come here, come here, come here, come here. I want to show you something. I want something. You know? Okay. So she puts it on the TV and she unpauses this commercial. And it's this, um, it's so silly, but I mean, it's, it's so cute. It's, um, it's called a happy napper. So it, I don't know if you've seen this commercial. So it's, a, it's a stuffed animal that you flip it inside out. They used to be called poppins when I was young, as far as like you flip it upside down and it's a, it's a, and it's a pillow. But this one is a stuffed animal. You flip it upside down, it becomes a sleeping bag with a pillow. And they have all kinds. They have like a unicorn or whatever. Yeah. So, she, so I said to her, I said, well, grab the bank. Let's see how far you need. It's $40. Okay. Now she gets paid, was she was getting paid a dollar a week. This girl started busting her butt <laughs> around the house <laughs> when it's not even the day to clean up. She's like, Mom, I did this. Mom, I did this. Mom, I did that. She was like, she was like high, like, but it was like clean. Like it, I was like, I said to my husband, I said, we gotta bump this up. So we bumped her up to two dollars a week as long as she does extra. Oh this is this is what I came up with. Let's see if the, if the camera will pick it up. So, oh look at her. Put like her name on it. And so she colored up to here, right? So she's got ten dollars left. 
and she's so excited. So she figured she's like, if she's out there shoveling, we told her we give her a little extra dollars a week. She thinks that every week she can make it. She's like, if you think in three weeks, like, oh, I said, we'll pay for the shipping if you pay for the item. So, oh, you know, I'm like, so that's that's my answer to that question. It's like, our for me, it's hard work. It's hard work. You're 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 showing them life skills, and then yep. you're teaching them the value of money, right? Yep, that's it. And she's and she's learning patience along the way, and she's deciding if she still cares about it along the way too. And it sounds like she really wants it. She's she's all in. So bad. It's like every Sunday when we do chores, every Sunday she's like, ah, for my happy. Ah, for. I love it. Like, that's right. You stay focused. You stay focused. Oh no. But um, I saw Eva, and she was, and she's getting into those safe challenges too, right? How old is she? Yes. She, Ava is nine and she is a sponge right now. So I am trying to really be careful with my, what I do period in front of her because she is picking it all up. You know how kids are. And so she's really, she, it's so funny because she's Micah. Like she is a natural saver. And so I'm tapping into that for my own reasons. I'm like, I want, I need to, I need the motivation, but she really wants, and she just loves, she's infatuated with YouTube. And yeah. so I'm like, well, I can find a way for her to be in one of my videos a couple, you know, a couple times a month, and we can do this journey together. We can save together because I need help. I am not a saver. I am not a natural saver. It is painful for me, and so I have to save first. Like it's one of the first things I do as soon as I see money hit our account. I'm like, hurry up and hit the button. Hurry up and transfer it because yeah. I just I don't know. I just but once I see the numbers starting to add up, I'm, mm -hmm. that's when you got me. That's when you got my attention. So to get me there, mm -hmm. he was helping me get there. Um, and she's learning a whole lot along the way. She loves to save money. She picked that up naturally from Micah. And I'm just that's floored that she kind of picked up on that so soon. I'm like, kids, they, they can do a lot more. They can handle a lot more than they let on. They're so much more than these devices. <laughs> yes, yes so, definitely. They are. They yeah. are what she needs. So that she decides that she wants to go to college. Yep. You know, like that'll that'll be the goal for her, you know? And yes. you know, that is such a horrible thing now. It really is such a horrible thing now. And so it's like, could you imagine her going to school debt free? I like she doesn't even she thinks the word debt is like a curse word. She's like, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. You're gonna use it. You're gonna get into to debt. You're gonna use a credit card. I'm like, no, I'm using the credit card and then I'm gonna pay it off at the end of the month. She's like, I still don't like it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get judged by my kid now. <laughs> it's okay, it keeps me on. It keeps me on. I can't ever miss. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. No, like I mean, because like, like like I never got told what a credit card was. So so right there, like I was, I mean, you know, I'm not blaming my parents, but right there, like I was kind of wasn't set up to succeed. Yeah, I'll say that much. You know, because there's some good in it. <laughs> Just yeah, have to and, be and now, and now I got one little girl saving up for her happy napper. So yes, definitely mm -hmm. more for kids than we got, right? Yep. So Ron said, so he hears, uh, I was like, I was like, this is another good one. I was like, mind blown. Um, so he hears, he hears the term um, and he wants to know our thoughts. So do you believe that debt and bad debt? Yes. <laughs> I love how we follow Dave Ramsey, but we still have our own ways. I am always so, so I'll think that I know what I want to say about a certain thing. And then Michael will like come in and play devil's advocate or something. And he'll just be like, but what about this scenario? And so I, this was actually one scenario I have Micah to thank for because he, he doesn't like that at all. He is the person who, when he buys his next car, it will be in cash. If he has to take out a loan, he will work day and night until that loan is paid off. Me personally, I see I see debt as a way to get where you want to be a little faster if you're responsible with it. So there's some people who are trying to create new generational wealth. And so, the, you know, they want to buy a home that they can pass down to their children. So I think <laughs> he's in the comments now saying he sounds wise. <laughs> 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 I think that it's really, you know, if you have the means to buy a home cash out, you know, with cash only, kudos to you. But the reality is most of us don't. And so that is like the one thing that I am like completely okay with. Like when I see people buy homes, it's mm -hmm. it's kind of like a normal process in life, right? You go to school, you go to college, you grow up, you decide whether you're going to be married or not, or you get a roommate and you buy a house, mm -hmm. um, especially versus paying rent. 
it is like a better choice. It'll help you with your credit. So I just see it as an overall win, but it's what you do and how long you take to pay off that mortgage that determines whether it's a good or bad debt. If you are, like you said, taking out loans against that mortgage, if you are barely paying the minimums every month, if you are never really like attacking, you know, full throttle, going full throttle on that mortgage loan, it's hurting you more than it's helping you. And it's, it's getting in the way of you living your your best life, so to speak. So I do think that there is a such thing as good and bad debt, especially if in order, like a lot of people I talk to nowadays are trying to qualify so that they can get their own house. But because they were never doing things and you know over the past few years to build their credit score, mm-hmm. you know, they're not getting approved for their home and they're crushed. And they're like, I really want to get out of this apartment or this high rent, you know, because landlords are just doing the most right now in these pandemics, unfortunately. And so they're ready to do their own. They're ready to go and be their own person in their own home, but they can't because they don't have the right credit score. And that's sad. So Yeah, no, it is. And that's one, that's one thing. I mean, I love Dave Ramsey too, since his podcast. I like, I like Rachel Cruz, his daughter. Yes. I love her book. She's softer than he is. And I think we've all had a moment yeah. when we're listening to him when we're like, kind of like, you know, you could have been. You're crazy. yelling. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to be nice. Yes, Rochelle. And, and everything he says is dead on. Like I, I believe in everything he says. Like the, yep. you know, all the advice he gives. Yep. But she's, she's definitely Some people need to hear it that way. That's what yes. I have to remember. Especially when, when they ask a question and they're telling you why they're still doing what they're doing. Then I'm like, yeah. one, why are you calling him? And then two, Thank like, you. why are you setting yourself up? And, and I'm setting the time. I'm setting the time. I'm like five, four, three, two. You. Perfect. Like, you know, <laughs> there he goes. Oh, I love it. But the one thing, the one thing I, I seem to like, and I, and I kind of think like maybe you do from your answer is like, he, he believes that you don't need a credit score. Like, you know, and, and to me, it's like, mm, you know, I, again, no, I, I think he's wonderful and I follow his principles. I, I do believe you do need credit score for, for things like that. Or yeah. if, if 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 one of my kids, like I'm not I'm not saying I'm gonna get I'm gonna sign a student loan thing for for them. I don't know where I am right now on that. I'm not touching. Right. Them. Every time I bring oh. it to my husband, we, we we go like this, and we're like not I even know. talking about it. We still got a year and a half left. See what we can do. But like if the time comes and she's sent there financially, she needs a little a little help. Like I'm not turning my back on my daughter, you know. Right. So. I need a credit. I need good credit. You know, equity in the house. You know, yep. some people say like, "Oh, should you pay off your house or not?" And this and that. But like, I just, I do think there's such there's such things as good debt and bad debt. Like student loans. If you make a career out of it, you know, like like they really says, like, make a career out of it. Don't don't get don't get a don't get a, uh, don't, don't, don't get, uh, student loans for left handed puppetry. You know, <laughs> I, I was like, wise. But, but I like that one. I do too. But but like you know, like uh, like I work for attorneys, like you know, and and these attorneys are still paying off their students. But they're but Delicious. if they if they live right, they could be killing it, killing it with the amount of money they make. You know, I know. So, so I do believe that student loans. I believe that that's a good debt as long as you use it wisely and you're there yep. for the experience. Like you hear some people, they rack up all this student loan debt. They don't do anything with the degree that they got, you know, but they're like, I lived my best life for four years. I'm like, yeah, you're going to be uh, for the next 40. Like, uh, <laughs> I'll go with the party. <laughs> and you know what else it makes me think of? There's different types of college. We have to, um, we have to look at the options. We're not, we're so quick to assume that college means a four-year school, a four-year mm-hmm. university, but I'm always telling people my dream was always to become a nurse. I never said what type of nurse. And so I worked my way up. I was a nurse's assistant. I would work weekends while I went to nursing school. But one day, a teacher came into the classroom and said, hey, we're, we're starting this new pilot program where we there's a huge need for nurses right now. And we, we will graduate you as an LPN, which is a licensed practical nurse. And we, that's how bad we need nurses right now. And if you're willing to sign up and forego being an RN, you can um, be working this time next year. And so I went home to Micah and I was like, I think I want to do it because I was so done with school. Like mentally I was in year five. I was, mm-hmm. I was just like up to here and I was at a four year university. I've had a scholarship, but it still was all these extra bills that kept popping up every semester. 
-hmm. I broke the chain. I did something different. I said, I can always go back and get my RN. And I went and did it. And it was the best thing I ever did. Paid school off, made good money, good enough money. So you have to find your why. Like, what what are you really trying to achieve with mm -hmm. your college degree? Mm -hmm. I ended up doing a year associates program and it, I made good enough money. So I, I always tell people, look into these technical colleges, look into these community colleges. They can offer you a lot of the education that the four-year university can, and you can even get that done and then transfer to a four-year university for your junior year. And There's you save so a ton of money. And you save a ton yes. of money doing that. Yep. Mm -hmm. My, Micah did that and people always floored when Mike, cause Micah doesn't have a college degree, but he was able to secure a job by going to technical college. He started in, he became an electrician pretty much straight out of high school. He went to a, a vocational technical high school mm -hmm. and he was mm -hmm. able to work his way up and go through night school. And, and that's what set him on the path to where he is today. And so he was able to even avoid going to college altogether, the four year college and scenario. So it's, you just have to find what works for you and really say to yourself, who do I want to be when I grow up? Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's more than one way to get to it some a lot of times. So we're just constantly, you know, being told it has to be a four year. It has to be a four year. I'm like, no, does it? <laughs> so I, they opened up five twenty nine plans for, for the three kids. And I can tell you my son, he's very he's very technical. Like anything that he can build, like he's all about it. Like mm -hmm. my daughter, I feel like she's a company. Like she's she's a mentality. Like she's very organized and everything. He's the opposite. And I, and he's taking auto mechanic now. And of course, like looking at his grades and that the only the only A I see all B's and the only A is auto mechanic. I said to my husband, I was like, I, don't know, I always thought he's gonna do something great with money because he loves like money, like technical technical things. You know, you can ask him something and he knows everything about something. I'm like, I'm like, you don't have to if, if that's not what want to do i just want them to do well you know yeah. succeed in that's whatever it. they want to do that's going to make them happy happy mm -hmm. i mean i think we all know professionals who the school like did what and they're miserable but they did it that's for the money awesome. you know my uncle was like that you know he was an architect and he hated it my dad works in social work and he's retiring next month. I'm so happy for him. And he was just telling me like recently, like how many him and my mom was telling me just how many people they've lost due to stress related heart attack. Just from the job, the stress of the job year after year, you've been there 20, 30 years and you're still trying to do what the 20 year old version of you was, you know, trying to do because these jobs, you know, they're just the job is going to keep being the job. I always tell people the job is going to stay consistent, but you have yep. to take care of yourself and know when to say, you know what, I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. And mm -hmm. that's what I think a lot of it comes down to is your 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 health, your mental health, your physical health and your emotional health. If you're not happy doing what you're doing and we got to get out of this mindset where we can start living after retirement too. That's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. Cause I feel like if you're not living now, why you deserve to be happy at all parts of your journey. Of course, you're not going to be a hundred percent up here all the time, but you deserve to live your life in a way where you're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And when you can mm -hmm. feel like, okay, work is work, but here's what I do when I'm not working. Some people mm -hmm. are always on. They always got to be connected to their phones. That was me. I was working at a job for 15 years and I had one phone on one side and the other phone on the other. And it's just like, I missed the first five years of Eva because I was constantly working. Mm -hmm. You gotta stop it somewhere and find what your why is, what's important to you. Kind of went off in a different direction. <laughs> no, I know, you and I can go in all different directions. I'm nodding along after, after everything you're saying. I'm like, Kids can really give you clarity in life too. Like you missed yeah. your first yeah. years with everything, now you guys yeah. have this. You know, yes. she's on your videos and she's motivating other kids. I had my daughter watch her. I was like, you have to watch this. You have to watch this. <laughs> and she was like, oh, my God, this is cute. She looks older. Like, she sounds older. And, and I'm just like, oh. yeah, no, no, definitely. You're so right. I'm going to talk about this all day. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. So the next question was Candy. And she said, what do you suggest? Oh, I, I was like, when I when I read this one, I was like, oh, oh we can yeah. what do you suggest if your spouse is not on board with creating the following budget? So my my past relationship, and I try to be positive about it, you know, whenever I talk about anything, it's like I, I, I'm, I'm a positive person. It hurts me not to be positive. Mm -hmm. um, he was not a budgeter and I wasn't a budgeter, but I, but in my mind, I was the saver and he was the spender, you know? Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, that's not what caused us not to be anymore. But 
I left with debt. Mm. You know, how did the saver, how did the, the saver leave with debt? Now with someone who him and I are on the same page when it comes to finances. And I'm on page because like I told you, he chased me down with that spreadsheet. <laughs> the boy can run. You're like, ah, okay. <laughs> I was like, he works out, he can he can outrun me. <laughs> Later you gotta this. And it just changed my world. It really did. It really, really did. And going against like being in a relationship with someone, like the way that I said it one time before, when when you're not on the same page, I feel like you're running into like into the ocean, like when there's when there's bad friend. You're gonna get knocked on your butt. You're gonna get knocked on your butt. How are you, how are you my opinion, my opinion, like how are you gonna succeed? If you're not together, if you're not on, on the same page, you know, whether, like you said, you're the spender, he's the saver, but look at you now. Like, That's you're right. coloring the word free, like, nothing. <laughs> I was like, hey, <laughs> you know, so, like, like, how can, how can, how can, like, so, so, I don't know, like, how to, how can you convince someone to be on the same page with you? Like, other than to, like, your vision of being, like, can you imagine yeah. our income together of where we could be, you know? And like maybe I, can, like listen to podcasts or read a book with them or something to kind of get them on the same page. I mean, what do you suggest? It's a tough scenario. Um, mm -hmm. The first thing I I would do is I would share different channels. This is the perfect thing about YouTube. You can search exactly what you're looking for. Um, channels such as Natural Fit Nurse and Asia Sierra Budgets, they actually are married and they budget separate. And I, this is like a thing I never heard of until I found their channels. And I thought it was so interesting. And I'm like, but there's peace in their marriage, but they know that we will never mix our money. And I'm like, there's a conversation to be had about this wave, this new movement of women who have found a way to make it work. Mm -hmm. And and, and, and I, I find that, so I, my first suggestion would be for them to watch content like that, to see mm -hmm. what works and how they're able to navigate. And mm -hmm. the cool part is you can see the journey, especially with Kimberly on Natural Fit Nurse, because she talks about, you know, working a nine to five, well, she was, she, she was a nurse. So working a lot of hours, mm -hmm. using her own money, budgeting her own money, never even, you know, talking about her husband's money, but mm -hmm. she talked about the sacrifices and the things that she would do along the way to mm -hmm. kind of warm him up to the day when they would have to share their finances. And that day finally came because she just quit her job. She just retired. And wow. she and so now it's this new change where they got to share money. But mm -hmm. she's like, it's okay because we've been preparing and we've been working on it, you know, for so long to get it mm -hmm. to the point where we would be able to do this. And mm -hmm. so I, 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 highly suggest you can do it on your own. I know marriage is marriage, but there are things that you can do with your own finances. Like, you know, say, even if it just, the only thing you can control is your personal finances, mm -hmm. your personal allowance money, budget that, start with that, save what you can from it, invest some of it. If you don't have debt, do what you can with what you can control and worry about the rest later, because I guarantee you, your spouse is watching what you do. And if you show up one day and he finds out, he or she finds out that you have a boatload of money put away, <laughs> you're able to cash flow the next trip, or you're able to do there's some a light bulb's going to go off eventually. Hopefully, that's the hope, that's the hope where they at least will say and acknowledge that you know what there's something to what they're doing. Some something about budgeting is working, but it's going to take time. You can't expect overnight success, and all you can do is just focus on you. You got to stay positive with what you can control. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I always tell people: show them your wins and always budget what you can touch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good, really good. Honestly, really good. I like. It, it, I, I see it too much in, in my job where, where people don't talk about money when they're together. Forget about budgeting. Like they don't talk about money. Don't about and money. then yep. things fall apart. Then all of a sudden you realize like, the, you know, the claws come out. Yep. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I feel so blessed. Like I feel so blessed, honestly, to be with a man who, who like gently. <laughs> I was stubborn. Like, you man, you. like with like Deb, like come on, like so sit down or whatever, you know. And and now it's like I, I feel like we're a force, like we're a force together, you know. So yeah. but when you said Asia, like you see our budgets, oh my god, I was like She doesn't they don't make their I money. Got you, oh. I got it from you. You guys did you guys did a budget. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so that's how that's how I started watching her. And, yes. and then yes. it was 
it was a video that she had after that and she said something like you know because me and him we we do we have separate budgets on my yeah. phone i was like wait <laughs> like, what do you mean? that's a thing it's a movement she makes it work like th there are channels like that that's a really good point rochelle there there are budget channels like that that can work I, that was the only one i've ever seen i found <laughs> it fascinating i found it fascinating because i'm like i was I so much in my day of how how money tears not Money's not what tears people apart, but money's like a tool that they use oh. to bring the up. You know what I mean? And to go really go after it. You know, whether they have a lot or whether they don't have that's even the worst ones when they that's have the it, you know, and they're still going at it. So that is such a good point. I really I appreciate that. That's all that's really good. Um, so Teresa, she she said, um, if you know what your experiences uh, experiences, sorry. If you, if you know what your expenses are every month. And you pay your bills without a problem. I can't wait to hear what you're gonna say about this. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still be doing a budget? Do you want this me to start that one? You go first. You go first. I, I, feel like gonna take off. I feel like this is the one that you're gonna spread things and go. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because if you know what money comes in and you know where the money's gonna go, that's where the fun is. Yes. That's what if 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 I were to take my paycheck and my husband's paycheck, it goes it goes together in our like everybody banks differently, but the way we do it is we put in our joint checking account, and then from there, you know, we do the allowance for the kids, and it's automatic. I have a lot of things that are automatic because I believe in automatic things because if I don't, see it, it doesn't exist. Like I'm still paying for my for for Emily's daycare at two eighty five a week when she hasn't been in daycare in two years. That money was how I got the fund. That money is how we've been paying off our debt. Like, like it's it's in and it's out. It's in and it's out. It goes transferred into another account, and from there it goes where it needs to go. Now for our investing and things like that. But yeah, because if you don't, if you know what money comes in, and you don't, and 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 then you're just gonna take that, you're gonna pay your bills. Like, what about if you were able to lower your monthly bills? But it, what if you what if you look at monthly bills? What if you're what if you're not checking your statements and you're not finding things that are wrong or things that you're getting charged for? I think we've all had those charges. And then you're like, like I like bought it a few weeks ago. I was getting hit by a, by by a, um. Ooh, I even said the name of the company. <laughs> I, I was I was I, I was it's hard for me. Um, I was getting hit with 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 a uh with a monthly membership fee. I was oh. like, I'm not a member to this. I'm not a member to this. And then one credit card tried to get me with 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 a year membership fee of fifty five dollars. Like I called them up and I was like, I know my cards. Like, I know my money. Like I know my cards, and I'm like, that's not mine. You know, like and then they're like, oh sorry, but we'll change the type of card. Now it's a no no membership fee. I'm like, you mean like what I had before? I didn't say it's my mind. <laughs> Play the game. Play the game. There we go. But but yes, I, that's why I, I believe it's important. Even if you even if you have your money, like if you know it, like to the left, without budget and telling it where to go, like I just feel like you're in the same spot month after month, paycheck after paycheck, and you're not gonna get anything. So true. Oh my gosh. So uh, like, of course, yes, yes, yes. I feel like you're gonna go. You the <laughs> only thing I have to add to the answer yes is Micah, once again, I have him to thank for this. He budgets differently when, cause we used to alternate one year I would budget the next year he would budget the next, you know, and back to me. And what I learned from him, um, his budgeting style was to look at the numbers once a month, maybe every time there was a bill to be paid, he was very standoffish from the budget. It drove me crazy. I was like, how do you know what's going on? But he, his memory was so good and he was such a frugal person, a natural saver. He just, would, money wouldn't leave. There were no transactions to trace. There was nothing to do. And so he literally would budget, would, I, I forget, there's a term for it. I have to think of it. There's people on YouTube who make budgetless budgets. And this is like another new niche that, are, that I'm finding is um, people who, look that up. Yeah, these are people who either are on a journey to fire or they are at least debt free, completely debt free. And so they consider themselves free spenders. And so they know how much money they have a roundabout figure and they know, OK, yes, I have about two thousand dollars to live off of for the month and they can eyeball it. And that scares me. I'm like, how do you know? But when I tell you, then <laughs> budget recap at the end of the month and they always come in right on target wow. and it's just so this is like a you know you have people who are just like really talented in some areas 
this is a special type and this is Micah. Like he is that type of person where he just, he doesn't need to look at the numbers. So it drives him crazy. He doesn't watch my videos, y'all. <laughs> I need to look at it so many times because I need to, okay? But I say all that to say, if you are that type of person, be that type of person, but be responsible. <laughs> don't, don't, you know, don't be that type of person where it's like, I think I spent $5 or I think I spent $25. But I always say, yes, find a job for every dollar ahead of time. Plan it out. Um, but, and also find content or books or blogs that that you can relate to. My channel might not be the channel for you if you're that type of budgeter, but there are channels out there that are where they only look at they wine at it or they um they just look at the budget very infrequently. There's even people who budget annually. There's this new wave of people who are sharing their budgets where they save money every month and pay their bills once a year. I'm this, this is like this is like new for me. I'm like and I'm like I've never entertained that before. I hate paying bills. I would love to pay it and be done with it for the year. But mm -hmm. you know, it all stemmed from car insurance. You can pay for your car insurance That's once every year. I pay once a year. It bothers me, Rochelle. I don't like it. I don't, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't like it. My husband is the one, you know, like, again, like I took over the bills from him because he has so much on his plate with his job. Like my, my job ends, he gets calls day and night. It's whatever. So I was like anything that I could take off his plate. And that's what really got me into budgeting and cutting down taxes and same. Then, which blossomed into my channel. Cause I wanted to help people to do the same thing. But the, the one thing he said to me is honey, like you, you know, you do, you do everything. You know, I, I support you a thousand percent. And he's like, pay the car insurance. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's a give and take. It's a give and take. But when I see that, bill come, I get mad. I'm like, why we get a discount. We get a discount. That's the only way that's doing it is because, and it's a discount. It's a percent off the whole yep. thing. Yep. But still, when I see that, when I see that amount, I'm it's so a large amount of money. It's a big deal to the job. Same. One of the bills pulled when, as soon as we started working from home because everything that was going on last March, and they gave me a credit after, even though we paid the bill the whole year, they gave me yeah. a credit for twenty nine dollars. It's back into our checking account. Wow. Because See? where are we going? Like, where are we <laughs> going? You know, and, and car insurance, just like so many other, bills, like car insurance is one that's very competitive. Like, yep. you know, like you have those commercials that are everywhere, like, oh, hey, like check out like five different competitors. Sure um, can. Competitors, you know, so, so they take care of it so that I don't go anywhere else, you know, but it, had they not given me that $29 back, like, yeah. exactly. <laughs> next year we're going monthly with another <laughs> <laughs> I got mine. <laughs> I no, but it. it's the only bill. It bothers me. It does. It does. It bothers me. Yes. I need. To, I need to know how I can everything. You know. But, I know. I know. I tell you. Um. Okay. And then so, last one I have is from Kat, and I was like, okay, here, here, she's going in the direction. I was like, I like this, this. Is actually my favorite question out of all of them. Really? Oh my gosh. Okay. Like so, yeah. <laughs> so she she said, what is the best way to avoid unnecessary purchases? So I have a rule of two days. I don't know how you feel about this, but I have a rule of two days. Going back to that purse, you know, like I really feel like for for me, where we are now compared to where we were, you know, I say we loosely, because again, it was my debt that I brought in. He unwrapped that box. <laughs> He's like, da da, da comes with a bike. Lovely. But, but you know, so so when it when it comes so when it comes to that, like I that purse taught me a lesson that I got, you know, like it was a whole day. Yes, it was. I still remember it to this day. I still get upset about it. Like, yes, it was. But that purse is the only thing I've ever bought in my life that I bought it because of emotion, you know? And so that's why it's like, you know, like, and I, 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 I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't take it back, but like, I learned from it. Like yes, money is emotion. Like before I met my husband, money used to cause me stress because I was living paycheck to paycheck before I met my husband. Like I was down drowning in debt, you know, and debt that wasn't even anything that I got from me, you know, it was just dumb, mistakes, like dumb, dumb purchases for someone else. And so, and then afterwards I, I had to go into a little bit of survival mode, you know, because I had two teenagers and I had one income. So a lot went on to credit. That's why it's like, I know where people are. And especially now with people losing their jobs, it's like, I feel for them. Like I get these comments and I cry because I'm like, I'm so glad I have this channel. So I can mm -hmm. try to help people because I've been there. You know? Just like with been your there. first video, I watched it yesterday. Like we were talking before before the camera went on. 
Oh like, my. my first video, I looked at this. I was like, let's talk about meal planning. Look at <laughs> you, like, you were in motion. You were just, like, talking about, like, your debt and where you are and where you want to be. Like, there's so many people that benefit from channels because of that, you know? And I'm not saying it for promotional reasons. It's just it's my you. truth, you know? Yeah. And back to that purse. So I learned something that day. I really did. It's like, yes, emotions are money. It used to cause me stress and anxiety. And then now I'm buying it just because I had a, a really bad day. It made me feel good for a second to buy that, you know? Yeah. And that's my last emotional, first and last emotional purchase I ever got. When I think about a purchase, which isn't often because I don't, I'm not much into, into buying things, but when I think about mm -hmm. a purchase, the first thing I think about is, is it a need or a want? Like that, that that's where it goes. That's it. Uh, did you ever watch Susie Orman when she used to have like? Yes. Oh my gosh, she talks about it a lot. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Approved or denied, you know. So that's <laughs> that's where my mind goes. It's like, is it a need or a want? So I, I have what I, what I came up with years ago, and it me in the beginning of is the rule of two days. So if I want to buy something that's not a necessity, obviously, if it's something that my family needs for like it's an emergency, there's I'm not going to wait a minute, you know. But mm -hmm. like question was more of like avoiding unnecessary purchases. So I have a rule of two days. I put it in my cart. If I'm about to buy something, I put it in my cart and I walk away. Yeah. Right. I feel like two days later, the emotion is out of it. You know, like some people shop because they're bored. You know, some yeah. people shop because they're sad, you know, because they're mad because they had a horrible day, you know, because they're fed up and they just want to, I'm going to buy something for me. I'm going to treat myself, you know, so stepping back, it's like, I feel like if you take the emotion out, like my daughter, I have a, I have a hormonal teenager that I adore. When she gets up, the world's coming to an end, you know, but give, I say to her sometimes, like, just disconnect for, for one day, like, you know, step back, you know, once emotions are out, then decide if you really want it, yeah. that you actually want, even if it's an unnecessary purchase. And, um, cause, cause then I just feel like, like having that clarity probably make you think, oh, I I don't really, I don't really need it, you know? And then you just delete it from your car and just move on, you know? That's it. What do you think? I, so it, it's my favorite question because I am, I, this is my daily struggle, making purchases blindly without really asking myself if I really need it. And I think it's something that I've improved on in the last mm -hmm. literally three to six months. Um, and it's because I, started getting ahead of it. So um, I'm completely honest. This is this is so me. Okay, so I am an am heavy Amazon user. And so I really had to think, what can I do to get ahead of this Amazon thing that I seem to have going on? So first I deleted the app for two weeks. I don't know, know if I told Micah this, but I, I deleted the app for two weeks mm -hmm. just to see if I could live without buying something. Um, and I wouldn't allow myself on there. Did you I mean, we ran out of he said, no, I didn't grab his phone. I, <laughs> first of all, his phone is always lost or in the somewhere. He doesn't need, he's not a phone user, heavy phone user. But I did really good. But mm -hmm. this is the one thing about no spins. I feel like then it just builds up. So two weeks later, you just buy everything that you couldn't buy in the whole yeah. two weeks. So I, I contend with that too about no spins. But what it taught me, we ran out of everything in the house. Like we were out of toilet paper. We were out of <laughs> Because we were, and I had to go shopping because I realized that's how often I was on Amazon. I was, it helped to keep household things up, but I was also buying, oh, let me just grab that too while I'm here. And that's what Amazon does. It has that, you know, they, they have the ads in the right place. They know what you're there for, but they're like, what about this? We noticed you had your eye on that. So that was one thing I did was just went cold turkey and, and it's almost like breaking an addiction, a habit of like smoking or drinking heavy or drug abuse or anything else that you want to break. You have to just go cold turkey sometimes and really just deal with the emotions and really, you know, be honest about it. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I do that Micah actually gave me permission to do, I do it, I take it too far sometimes, is it is we do this thing where we just blow money. We have the a set amount and we just like, okay, once every few months, we're going to do something. We're going to, we're going to, you know, go on back when outside was open. We took a, a weekend trip to Maui. We just, you know, this is our money so that we can feel like we're spending it on us and fun and we're, we're leaving debt alone for the weekend. And so I encourage, you know, people 
who want to stop spending to start mm -hmm. giving yourself permission to create sinking funds and accounts to put money in so that you can go crazy and have fun and let your hair down for a little bit and then get right back on task and, you know, and continue the journey. Now, that's where I break away from the Dave Ramsey thing again, because I do that from the very beginning. Even with, you know, people I'm working with, I'm, I'll say, give yourself $10. If you have $10 left in your budget, we're putting that to self-care. Whatever you want to do, go get you a, some nail polish, go buy a donut, go do something for you. Yeah. And you, because if you don't build that habit, when you start to have access to more money, because you're going to give yourself a natural raise as you pay debt off and you, mm -hmm. you know, complete other goals such as emergency savings is done and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. And you're going to start to have money sitting in your account, but you have to know what to do with it right away. Mm -hmm. So you need to allocate out sinking funds. Sinking funds have been a huge, huge, huge reason why we were able to cut out a lot of unnecessary spending. But I slipped up. A couple months ago, I bought a Louis Vuitton bag. I tell people in my videos, I messed up. Okay, mm -hmm. Michael was like, but guess what? Mm -hmm. I had to go back to that budget and I had to start rewriting out what I was going to do. I had to take my personal money away. I had to, I had to do it. Mm -hmm. I can't act like it didn't happen. And I think that's a part of the spending is reacting to what you're going to do to make up the difference. It's like, okay, you messed up. So what are you going to do so that it doesn't happen again? I created a Louis Vuitton sinking fund. Mm -hmm. I cut out all the, you know, all the fun money I was supposed to have for the rest of the month. I took mm -hmm. money from out of my own personal savings. I got rid, I paid for the bag. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I think that being honest with your expenses and not being so hard on yourself. Like, it's like, okay, you feel guilty. You're sorry you did it, but move on and just try not to do it again mm -hmm. is a big piece of it. And the last thing that I, um, I put on my notes, use cash, shop online and get it picked up. So don't go in the stores at all. Use Walmart pickup, Sam's club pickup, well, Costco doesn't have it right now, at least on here. Um, and the last thing is, you have it there. You have no, it. They don't, I, no, they don't. No, they don't. And the last thing I had was to use apps such as Unroll, um, which will automatically unsubscribe you from all those sales, you know, sales this weekend emails type deals that come every five seconds when you sign up and create accounts on websites. That has saved me a ton. I don't even go online and shop anymore. Like the only thing I'm allowed to touch is Amazon. And that's if there's money in our Amazon sinking fund. Mm -hmm. And I find that that, that's been a lifesaver. My email, I get like five emails a day now for the first time in my life. I used to average 25,000 emails at, in my unread emails in my email account mm -hmm. at all times because I just couldn't get to them quick enough because there were so many sales. I'm like, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, Gotta I, stop it. <laughs> I have, I have, I, I think you a thousand percent. I have a video on um, on my channel that I, I just released in the beginning of summer and it's like how to shop for the holidays and save money. One of the one of the things that I found that I did, and it was like it was like, I feel like you know like it's so funny like what people grab onto from each video. Like, do you ever experience that? you you put out content and you think I'm gonna get comments about this ninety percent? It's always that little ten percent that people grab onto. Yep. They're like, they're like, wait, I got a question about this. Like, so so my whole thing was, I mean, I I was how to save money on holiday shopping and get what you want from your family for for the holidays, you know, mm -hmm. and, and for your loved ones. What they grabbed onto was was the tip that I said that I opened up a separate um, email, and that's the email that I use when 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 I do my online shopping because I love coupons and you know you sign that's up and you get a yeah you get a coupon so I have that one that's there and if it's birthday and I want to send them something and I like a certain company I go to that email and I look at the latest email I got the coupon code and I use it but it, it's out of sight, out of mind. Like, I'm not getting my others. Oh. Best friend's birthday's coming up, and I already know what I'm gonna get her. And I just and I just logged on to the thing. That email has two thousand in two thousand emails in it. I'm like, do you imagine? Prove my point. Prove I, that point. Store where I got that handbag. I'm telling you, I don't miss those emails because that, the brand that I love. But <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, every time I get something saying twenty percent off, I always put one in my. And I stalk it, and then I'm like, no, I don't need this handbag. <laughs> Two thousand <laughs> emails. It was though. down like sixty percent, and I'm like, no, I'm not getting this. It's such a temptation in those emails. So you're so right, and it's funny because you and I think a lot alike. The other, the other thing I was gonna say about it that I got was that to create a slush fund for it, because yep. I feel like I feel like if something that is a necessary purchase, 
Like maybe it's something that you really love, like a handbag. I love Louis Vuitton. I, 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 I don't like anything in I don't know. I don't know where it came from. It's been with me for my entire life. I cannot shake my love of Louis Vuitton, y'all. Okay. Fashion oh, Tuesday. No. Uh, I, I'll say it. I'll say it. I don't like Kors. There's something about a Michael Kors bag. Oh, that's right. it's nice to talk. I used to be Michael Kors. <laughs> if Coles in the chat, my friend Co, she is she was team Michael Kors for years. Oh. She might still be. But like it's just something about it. You just gravitate naturally to their style to everything and it's love like it. okay what can i do it's okay to love something yeah. i just have to plan for it and budget for it that's all mm -hmm. no absolutely absolutely <laughs> and that's the last question that i had i wanted to, to I, I can't believe i've kept you so long so thanks so much for staying oh, you're welcome thanks like, for having me we've been on for an hour and a half or shall people leave this it doesn't wow <laughs> you like to talk money all day i'm telling you everyone say hi it's this has been awesome. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, no, it's been great. Can you see the comments, Rochelle? I know you met, you made a comment. Oh, I had my screen. No, I I haven't been looking. I looked when I saw Micah's comment. That's Let me so go funny. over to it now. Oh, so Granny Prepper says that just here. I can, I can, I can make, um, do you ever use stream? You can do Ooh, that. PVC and HSN. See, that's another thing. Okay, yes. Granny Pepper Prepper. Yeah, so so she says like Kate Caden, I check my check my my bank account every day. I don't trust anything or anyone. You know, it's funny. My husband was my husband uh was giving me such credit. They're like, he's like, see, hey, you're on it, you're so on it. That's why you caught that thing. I don't check my checking account every day. It's not because of any stress or anything like that. It's just because I'm, I'm really busy. I, I'm, my, my, I, sometimes I'm like, what time is it? It's 1130 at night. Like, so I, I check it. Like I know what's in because I know what's automated and what's not. So I know what money goes in and what goes out. So I don't, I, I don't have to, and I'm not saying anything about Kate and I think she's awesome. I, no. uh, for, but for me, like, I don't check it every day because of that. Like, I know there's only three things deducted from, from my, from my checking account automatically. Uh, my yep. cell phone bill, I text message about. And luckily, it's going exactly. down instead of up because if it goes up, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's going down. So, That's right. So my 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 cell phone, um, insurance, and um, and what's the other thing? There's one more thing. There's three transactions. I can't think of the other one now. But so I know exactly what. It's, so because of that, I I I don't have to check it every day. But when I, but I do just check all the bills that I that I went online and paid when I got paid came off because you know it takes a day or two. That's, what you check for. It takes some time. That's me balancing my checkbook. Like I put in there pretty much. When 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 the amount comes in, like I, I make sure all my all my payments went through. You know, God forbid, like I, you pay a bill and it didn't hit your account for some reason, so I check them off, and then I, I make the rest of the bill. And then I transfer the rest of the money out, leave, leaving some in there for those three transactions and a little extra in case something happens. So I don't feel like I have to check it every day. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong because I'm, I feel blessed that I, that I saw it at the time. I'm you glad know? you caught it. Because I told my, uh. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm honest, just like you, like we, we talk about, you know, our mistakes and everything else. I think that, I think what really makes me want to watch your channel when I budget because you're hundred percent honest. You're not living a Pinterest I'm, life. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be transparent. I am and, not and about I love to that. And I'm the same way. And I'm the same way <laughs> because I don't want to, want to follow someone that's talking about money and lives a Pinterest life. Like, no, like, Oh my gosh. We are, we are right now, you know, like, <laughs> and like, that's talk about money, you want honesty. You don't want to be fake and be like, this right. life and look and this is it. No, yep. no, no. I subscribe. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we're not perfect no no but that's that's the thing it's like you have to learn from your money mistakes or else you're just bound to make them again uh oh uh, uh life with granny is that i love that quote uh that that you want to give a job to every dollar yeah, oh, yeah. i wish i could get my first name ramsey <laughs> Dave Ramsey. <laughs> Dave Ramsey. Like, I wish I could take the credit for some of this. Some of this. Oh, sometimes sometimes I, I drop something that he says in normal conversation. People are like, wow, gazelle intense. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of girls where I got that from. She, her, her and another channel. I don't know if they even make content anymore. Years ago, they would always say gazelle intense, gazelle yes. intense. And, and then I found out where they got it from. I was like, that's really good. I'm like, oh, that's not original. <laughs> that is Dave Ramsey. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Uh, 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 oh, okay. that's Coke. Yeah, that's the one. That's my friend, Coach. Oh, one my of the people's lover. 
<laughs> hey, learning to say was, is a complete sentence in the best lesson. That's how I was raised. Absolutely. Yeah. There was no it's just no. When I drove past McDonald's, I said, ah, 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 ah. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And there was, there was no follow up question, like at least with my parents. There was no yeah. question at all. I was but, there. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plan your life with Brit. It's really important to teach your kids to give. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. When the, when hey, Brett. <laughs> oh my gosh. When 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 everything went down here, I saw kids from our community making masks for 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 um, essential workers, and my kids were all about it. How can we make food? Like, how can we make this? How can we? And that just really brought it. When when we, when we became debt free, I had a vacation slush fund so again. Not doing the Dave Ramsey thing. And um, and we went to Disney for the first time. Like we went to Disney, and we was together. My little one, which is it was just such a great way to celebrate being debt free before we started tackling our emergency fund. And they have you know those buses that they do like going from one park to the other. And my family got on with a stroller. Like my teens were the first ones that were up. No, take my seat. Oh, like that's, that's when you. That's when you know. Proud like, parent like, moment. <laughs> yes, yes, you gotta soak those in. <laughs> Like my little tracker, um, just like moments like that really make me so thankful. You know, you're teaching them so with my example. I love um, oh, Wanda Hutchins, she feels me. I did. I didn't like the Christmas exchange. See? Some of the don't coworkers do it. didn't you really don't know. They don't limit it. They don't. They don't limit stuff. Um, I, I think the people that I work with, they're great and they're really sweet. Don't get me wrong. But, but you know, like on a budget and you're not on a budget, you know, and I'm trying to get that free. That's not, that makes it unfair to you. <laughs> they're going to be fine, but that makes it unfair fine. to you. They're, they're fine coming in, coming in, you know, like it's so funny, like with these coffees, one day I said to them, I have a calculator that's like built in my, and one of, one of my coworkers comes in with this coffee thing and, and it smells so good. And, and so I was like, what's that? And she's like, oh, it's whatever. I said, how much is that? $8. She, every day no, I'm, not, I'm not judging but every day eight dollars in my head i was like okay eight times five is 40. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Two weeks a year. <laughs> how much is that a year i i have hold on i have to know what how many eight times i don't even know how to calculate that 40 times 20 40 no, times it's 40 uh, times 52. So 50 not 52 because Two weeks vacation. I'm like, I'm like, that's gotta be over a thousand dollars. Almost two thousand dollars. That's my that's my Louis Vuitton bag right there. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> problem. Some people buy coffee, some people buy Louis Vuitton. Hey, you know, everybody has like, the thing. I'd rather have the Vuitton. Thank you very much. <laughs> but that's the thing though. That that's and I kind of feel mm -hmm. like, you know, I had to just realize like what do i care about more and so it's like everybody has their thing that they care about which is and it's like I, I take the judgment out of it i take the emotion out of it i'm like okay that's what they choose to spend their money on they budgeted for it they can afford mm -hmm. it. hopefully they budgeted for it but i'm telling you i really i you know the feeling when you know someone like budgets and like is, is uh and someone doesn't like i just get that feeling i'm the only one <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you are you are i know i tell you Right. Okay, so, so Dewey913 wants to know the name of, of the video that we're talking about with you. I'm going to link all of Roche, I'm gonna link Rochelle's channel down below. I don't know what video you're exactly talking about, but I mean, her channel is amazing. You love everything that's on there. Oh. Oh, at Penny's Place. That's amazing. I love the idea for kids to earn money wisdom. It, that's the gift yeah, you I'm getting, to. honestly. Honestly, you it really have. is. You know, I have friends and, and neighbors like right now in the with the snow, like the like the, the neighbor across the street um, has two teenagers, like a little bit older than mine. They're out there shoveling. Like my kids are out there shoveling. I know a certain neighbor around here. Her daughter doesn't do anything. She doesn't pick up after herself. And again, no. I am never going to be that that parent that judges someone at all. Like because I just feel like everyone has their life and their circumstances. But I'm like, so I say. Because every once in a while she's like, yeah, you know, so and so doesn't have to do this, and so and so doesn't have to do that, and I'm like, you're gonna be the village that knows how to cook, knows how to clean up after herself, has it has a clean dorm, you know, yep. and is living her best financially, and you got that from me, and you're welcome. Yep. Like, yep. 
<laughs> that's exactly what I would say. Around, and the smelly stuff everywhere, and the no one to be not to be able to clean up after. Like mine will, you know, and that's because that's how we chose All it. That matters. So yeah. That's it. Oh, Eva's Eva's start Eva's working on business. Oh. Yes. Wow. Yes. I can't wait to see what she that does. Moment right there, honestly. I'm so proud of her. Oh my gosh. You know, since she doesn't want to work a nine to five. She told me that the other day randomly. I remember when we first moved here, she asked Micah, she said, What does Daddy do when he leaves every time every day? And I was like, he goes to work. She's like, but why does he have to go for so long? Why doesn't he get his work done and then just come back when he's done? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, when you work for an employer, you have to stay a certain amount of hours. And I realized I had never explained that to her before. Wow. And so that's when he started sharing his paycheck with her. And like, you know, every once in a while, he'll pull out his paycheck and explain how it works, taxes and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And she's like, after he left one day, uh, like a couple weeks ago, she's like, yeah, I don't want to ever do that. I want to have my own business. He's like, I don't understand why, why he has to work for someone. And I was like, this is the freedom that I want to be able to pass on to her. The choice as to whether she wants to work for someone or will start her own business. That's, that's, I'm happy. <laughs> I, I, oh my gosh, absolutely. I can't small enough to that one. That's exactly. <laughs> oh, my uh, oh, Wanda Hutchinson. So she says that credit scores affect more than buying things. Insurance rate and things like that. I never knew that. Let me tell you, we had we rented an apartment right now just temporarily while we're away for work and mm -hmm. the hoops that we had to jump through, I was floored. Mm -hmm. I could not believe. I've been, you know, we've been in our own home for like 15 years. So when we got here, they mm -hmm. ask for access to your bank account even. Now they can't see what you've spent money on, but they can see your deposits and they can see your transactions so that they can know whether you are dependable or not and can afford to pay the rent. That's just that's a Hawaii thing. I don't know if that's everywhere, but that is- I um, say, um, that's a credit score. Credit score. That's basically a credit score. And, and so basically they can tell if you can, if you'll be able to finance, you know, paying your rent every month. And I just, I could not believe all the stuff you had to share. I'm like, I didn't have to do any of this when I bought a house, but- the only other person that ever asked me for my credit score was one time when I was when I was looking into getting an apartment, and uh, after when I moved out of my with my mom, and I was and I was and it was uh, um it was me and two of my girlfriends were like oh we should get a, a place because it was less expensive to be by our school, and and we were just looking at it we decided not to, but they asked for for our credit score, and I was just like like now yeah. looking back yeah you have three three uh college college students yeah you're gonna want our credit score. Let me see. Oh my god! <laughs> Her name is Corey. Oh, she says that all the time. It's all, pretty. it's all pretty. It's all pretty. I don't want to mispronounce it. So she says, she says your your job will have your position posted the day the day uh the same day you're dead. Oh my gosh, it's funny. Oh yeah, that's Corey. She goes that's, so that's Co or Coco or Corey. That's my my, my oh, best. Oh, the fabulous beauty channels on here. Hi. Oh, she was so beautiful yesterday. I. Like, you know, I was cooking dinner watching until you until you started your Jeopardy, which I, which oh. I was like so proud of, and, like, and, and, and typing too quickly and got half the answers wrong. But it was great. Let me see. What did she say here? Um, oh, here we go. She'd be back. She'd be back calling the bank. Oh, yeah. The day. Something went wrong in her account. I'm telling you. I just. See? You know, it's funny, like I hadn't like I hadn't been like interviewed, you know, like I've been I've collaborated with other people on other channels and you know yeah. and everything else, but this was like an actual like interview. And so and 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 so I was kinda like, you know, like I, I had my thoughts and it's like I wanted to get my mind right. That blew my nerves out. By the time that I finished yeah. dealing with that, it was good. I was like, we can talk all day. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I was like, I do not need coffee. It was the most stressful time I've had in a long time thinking someone broke into the bank account, honestly. What do you think? Pepper says she does insurance monthly. I don't want to see that giant insurance bill. Oh my God. <laughs> Pepper, that is exactly true. But if you saw my husband's face when he's like, just one thing, just, just one thing. I'm like, that's all he asked for. <laughs> okay. He's she's so keeping like, the peace. And like with that with that tone, you can ask me for anything. I'm like, okay. Oh my gosh. Uh uh Stanley. 
starting the starting the Dave Ramsey oh, show. Oh, I read that. This month. Oh my Congrats. god! Congrats. The finished credit card paying, right? Payoff and a little over three year mortgage, paid off eighteen months. Oh my you gosh, that, that's amazing. That is you amazing, Stanley. Oh my goodness. All, all the luck in the world to you, honestly. That that's. Mm. I talked about it last week. So we had we had a um I don't wanna like I I I've taken so much of your time already. We had a really high interest credit card. So we put that above the snowball because I just felt like it was the interest was so high. And I'm like, if I kill this, I can make such a difference. And as soon as yes. that bill was gone, which took us like took us forever, the snowball just came into effect and all the except the car payment. And I was just like, here we go. Now we attack the car payments next. Yep. You did this. That, that's sure the one. Too. You had mentioned that. Mm. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Stanley says he he uh that he checks his his uh, his balance almost every day too. Yeah. Yeah. Gives him peace of mind. Hey, if that's what gives you peace of mind, and you're getting you it, it by all means, by all means. Oh my goodness. Yeah, absolutely. Peace of mind is is the right thing. I can't thank you enough. I can't believe we're out of an hour and 49 minutes. You Thanks say. for having me, Debbie. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. On Saturday, I'm going to be on uh, Jan from New York City Saves Money's channel. Oh, and she's going to have Kate Kate on there. And she's going to have Steve Young fine. So that'll be fun. Okay. But I just want to tell you, Rochelle, like, it's such an honor to have you on. Like, oh, when I tell you, you. I, I say it, I, I, when I budget, you, you and your, 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 you just make it fun. And that's what, you know what? It's like, I hope that that's what I do to people too, because that's what things you should do. be fun. Getting your mind right and, and in the process while you get, while you get through debt and start saving for, you know, start saving and building for a future, like that, nothing better. There's nothing better than to have that motivation and your channel provides it. If you can start from the channel, I'm gonna link it down below. As you can tell, she's fabulous, and everyone has to go subscribe right away. Right back at you. Well, thank you. Jenny. Thank you, Rochelle. All right, thank you guys, so much for coming. If you have any questions, um, do you mind, Rochelle, if anyone leaves it in the script in the, in yeah. the comment section, I'll, I'll reach you. All right. Sounds so good. If you guys have any questions at all in the comment section down below, guys who are here on the chat, thank you so much for watching us live. If you watch us on replay, just drop a comment down and answer it. So, Rochelle, thanks again. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs>